Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art jamming channel. Today I'm channeling Nick Bantock in making a mail art postcard based on one of his famous pieces of work from um, Griffin and Sabine, the book. So if you've never checked out um, Nick Bantock, please, please, please go and um, search him on the internet. He's got amazing artwork. I just love it. If you can get your hands on a copy of Griffin and Sabine, it's the most amazing book ever. It's got its own little um, envelopes in it. You can go and read other people's mail. <laughs> <laughs> it's the way the story is written. I'm not actually advising going stealing people's mail. Um, but it's just a really, really uh, fun, fun book to work with and there's a whole series of them. Anyway, long story short, Nick Bantock is the author illustrator and one of the pieces of artwork he has in this book is a goldfish swimming through a broken glass. So it looks like the goldfish has been shot through the glass and I love that image. It's always inspired me. And while I was going through my magazine collage, I found this cool glass. I just had to do that piece of work. So this is a fish I found in a, a collage book and um, I wanted to have it swimming through the glass. So I had to work out how to do it. So just sort of made a background and now I'm going through and cutting my fish up. So the glass itself actually had a cut in it already or a break in it. So I've just um, use my craft knife to cut through it and then tuck my fish through. I decided I wanted to have two fish going through my glass so um, we could double the fun. Um, so I was just working out how I wanted to do that. So I, I'm making another cut and I'm actually um, making a double cut in it so you can sort of see where they've swum through. So they're kind of like enveloped a sandwich through it. Um, I liked how it worked out. <laughs> it doesn't necessarily look like they're swimming through, through the glass, but it works for the purpose of collage, which I was really pleased with. And I love the, the contrast between those really bright fish and sort of the blues and the, the um, vintage tones in the background. Now I'm going in with a big fish stamp. This is from um, Paper Artsy. It, I am not a fish person. I don't eat fish. <laughs> I don't particularly like fish, but I love the imagery of fish. So um, this is a really weird stamp for me to have, but um, it worked really well in this case. It sort of um, helped all sort of swim together. So all these stamps come off the same stamp set um, and just really helps sort of tell this story, I suppose. So we've got this a school of fish down the bottom, we've got the big fish in the background on the music, and now we've got the fish swimming through the glass as well. So just to colour in, I'm using um, some Stabilo Ore pencils in red, orange and green, trying to create the colours that are in the fish in the, the collage itself. And obviously I've sort of got the blues in the background as well. I did decide to put a colour in the fish down the bottom, a little bit of red, so again they're sort of popping out and you've got this continuous theme throughout the page of um, fish. So it's a very fishy page. <laughs> so once I was happy with my background, made sure everything was glued down nicely, and then going around and edging um, or framing it up. So I really like doing this with my magazine collage pieces because it gives... Um, a vignette type effect to the page. It sort of gives you a central focus to the page, um, which I really enjoy that look of. I'm just going in with my glue stick and gluing down my focal image now, making sure my fish are where I, exactly where I want them and gluing them onto the page. So you can see now I've got those fish in the background. It sort of it makes a little bit more sense than when I just had that um, blue piece down the bottom. Now I'm going in and putting around a shadow around my piece again to help push it out into the foreground a little bit. So not only putting the, the shadow around the glass but also around my fish coming out of the glass because they're sort of at the front. Um, I'm using my Stabilo Oil Pencil to do this and I am um, just activating it with water. Now what you may find is, particularly because a lot of these um, collaged images are 
um, on gloss paper that it may bead up a little bit or because I'm also using cut images that it may actually bleed into the side of the paper. The other alternative that you can do if you didn't want to add water to this is just to heat the page slightly and or rub over the spiller or pencil with your finger because the heat of your finger will actually melt it enough that you can sort of get a smudgy shadowy effect. Once I've finished this, I then wanted to put a stamp on my postcard. So I really like with these um, adding some form of postage. These are all stamps my mother-in-law has collected over the years and she gave me a big bag, which I love. Um, most of these are all Australian stamps, so there's lots of animals on them. So I was going through trying to find fishy, watery themed um, stamps, which I was struggling a little bit for. Um, but I ended up using something that was kind of appropriate. If I can't find the theme I'm looking for, which sometimes is pretty tricky, I will go for similar colours. So that stands out a little bit. I also decided to make um, the break in the glass, I suppose, more obvious by highlighting that. Then I'm going in and cancelling my stamp. <laughs> so having fun putting my airmail sticker on it and... Um, the cancer lines, franking lines, I think they're called. Terrible. I need to send more mail. I just don't send enough. And once I finish that, I'm going in with a paint pen. If I can find one. No, I'm going in with my white pen and making the um, mail art stand out. So I did originally want to do that with red, but I ended up with um, the white. Then I am just going around the edge again with some more um, writing just to help sort of blend it into the background a little bit. Finally, I'm putting on some words. So this is the um, Tim Holtz clippings, I think it's called. Um, so they're just clippings out of old vintage books. And I think it is, is it tra Traveller and Travelling? I think something like that on it, which kind of fitted into what I was um, looking for. So sometimes you can find the right words, sometimes you can't, but you can always make it work. Um, so just play around with what you've got. So here's a close up. You can sort of see all the stamping in the background. You can see the fish, you can see the shadowing around it, you can see sort of the contrasting colours and how it all ended up going together. So I was really pleased with how this came. It doesn't quite look as, as nifty as um, Nip Bantox, but I was really pleased with how it turned out in the end. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye for now.